Okay, so let's finish the, the example, the continuation here. So continuation. Okay, so now that we calculate Q2, I think I just saw from that page was equal to 12.5 uh, Newtons per millimeters. We're gonna, I'm gonna look at the load on side panels. So on the figure you have seen before, again, I don't have the plasma from last time with me. So if this is the wall over here, basically zero, and this is 500, I think we gave numbering to the corners, no, of the, of the panel. So this is the side panel. Here you will have the wall like this. This will be the wall and this will be the panel. And here at the top is zero. This panel, what was the numbering for this panel? I don't have it with me. Do you have it with you or? I mean, otherwise it doesn't matter. I'm not putting any numbering, but. So which one would be nine? The 500? This one is nine. Okay, nine. This one will be 10. This is the side panel. This one will be six. And this one is five. Okay. So basically the side panel and on the previous figures, we assume to have the, I mean, we assume we said we have the Q2, the Q bar two in this direction. So that will mean that on this side, it will be down. This will mean that it will go in that direction here and it will go in that direction, here, okay? Okay, and because of the torque, we replace the torque by the two forces over here. So we could have over here, I mean, it would be the same force all over the places, but we we'll have here, let's call this one P bar, P bar, P bar. Okay, so you see that these two forces, which is called a, a couple force, will create the torque, no? Okay. Okay, so if we look here at along one six. I could do what? I could do summation of forces equal to zero, which will give what? Two P, two P bar minus 500 Q2 will be equal to zero. Okay, the same thing that we have been doing before. So from here, we can find the load P, which will be equal to 500 Q bar two divided by two. Or P bar would be equal to 500 times 12.5 divided by two. It should give you that P bar is equal to Okay, so when you have something that is due to torsion or in torsion, let me just put it here, due to torsion, 
All right. So if I look at the panel, nine, five. Okay, we call this reverse bending, but what happened when you twist something? Remember, if it was if it was in tension, we only have here something going from positive to whatever would be the value here, no? If it was in compression, it would be down. But when you have something that is in a torque situation, what you have is this, and because of the reverse bending. Same reason we have this over here, okay, on the reverse direction, when we did this before. On the other side was on the opposite direction. Here we're gonna go from the P bar equal to three, one, two, five, to here to the P bar equal to negative three, one, two, five. Okay, so the act, the load on the stiffener or the flange due to the torque, you see will be across each other, okay? Cross the line, you go from one positive sign to the negative sign or vice versa. Okay, so why do we need that? Because now that we know that load, again, it's a shame that I don't have the figures. So if we go now, now we're gonna go to bay two. So please look at your figure. So bay two now is the one from which we have not removed any panel. Okay, please look at your notes, look at the figure. Uh, let's see how to do this. There's no parallel at all. Okay. My bad. So I'm sure you're better than me. I do this. And now you do this. And you do this. Okay, you do a better figure than me. And if you want to give me the numbering, so here we should have the numbering, then it should be then nine. Then what would be here the two numbers? I did not bring my notes from last time, so. This would be the front panel where the loads are being applied. Is that one, two, three, four? One starts at the bottom and it goes clockwise. One, two, three, and four. And if you want, I mean, what, what would be these two then? Nine, 10, 11, 12? Oh, uh, this one would be what? Oh, yeah, yeah. So five. Correct, five, six, yeah, five, six, seven, eight, okay. So if I look at the same figure as before, here we still have the P, all right, coming in that direction, the same as before, and the P coming in that direction here, okay, that we just calculated. Now on this side, I don't know how much I want to do here. We're going to have here the Q bar one, which is the shear in this panel. We're going to make it going up here. So we'll go down over here. This way. This way. Then on the top panel, we could have we do again the same thing. We have Q3, so we'll be this way in that direction. We go in the direction on the opposite side. Then you go here. And then this one will be going down. So here we want Q bar three is on the top panel. So please make a note over here because I don't want to do too much on that figure. So what would be the shear distribution on the panel three, four? So now if I do here a little small figure, so let's say, if I look at the panel, we're gonna do small figure. If I do the panel seven, eight, three, four separately, because I don't wanna put it on the same figure, what should be on that one? The, the, 
the shear flow distribution. We are talking about torque. So we have reverse bending. So that means what? That we should have on this side opposite, no? Going down, going up, going there, and going there. And similarly, what would be the shear flow distribution, the panel five, one, four, eight, due to the reverse bending? Should be the opposite that at the top, no? Okay, so if at the top was going in that direction, we'll be going this way, way. Then this one will be going that way. And so basically, why is this called reverse bending? Because it creates the same effect on the shear, but they're going to be reversed on the opposite sides. No, before when we only had the FY, the V force, what was the shear on both sides? It was the same, correct? The orientation. Look at your figure because I don't have your figure. However, now because it's torsion, whatever happens on this panel will be reversed on the other side. That's kind of similar to what if you want is related to this. Okay, it's reversed. Okay. So now if we look just here, I'm gonna do another figure. If we just look here at the top stiffness, so that would be, let's say six and two. If we look at six and two, what do we have over here on top? We have Two bar three going on top of the panel, which would be this one over here. Then we have two bar one on the opposite direction on the side panel. Okay, and we know this is position from 500 to 1000. And let me not forget, over here we have the force T. That we just calculated from before. Okay, so once again, we need to do the summation of forces equal to zero by looking at these figures. So this will give you what? T bar plus 500. Q bar three minus 500 Q bar one equal to zero. Or oh, this will give you, uh, it doesn't matter which way we do it. So we'd be Five hundred Q bar one minus five hundred Q bar three equals to P bar, or we can write Q bar one minus Q bar three equals to P bar over five hundred, or this is equal to Q bar one minus q bar three equal to how much was p bar 3125 divided by 50 which gives the first equation q bar one minus q bar three equal to Okay, so over here we cannot solve because we have one equation to unknowns. Okay, so what we need to do is find another equation. So let's plot this equation here, little a. And now we need to find another equation that relates q1 and q3. No, so this time what we're going to do is looking at this n panel. Okay, so can I move to the next page? 
Right. Okay, so next we're going to look at the panel. We're looking or considering at panel one, two, three, four. I'm going to do the figure. So if I do one, two, three, four. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Again, you need to have this figure always with you. So one, two, three, four. Here we have between two and three, we have Q3 going to the left side. We have Q1 going down on this side. And how should the and Q bar, this also will be Q bar one. So it will be, let's see, it will be Q bar three at the top. This will be Q bar one. So you see, because it's reverse bending between three and four, it will be opposite direction. So we have here. Two by one, and again at the bottom because it's reverse. What are we gonna have? We're gonna have this one that goes between one and four, okay? As we put it over here. Uh, one and four, yeah, one and four. From the bottom panel. And this will be two by three. Okay, we're over here, we know the height was 200 and the total width. Four hundred, and we knew that at the at, at this end, at the free end, we had a torque. You no know, being applied. So let's give a name to this point. How did we did we give a name to this point before or Agatoya did not bring my class notes? Uh, the word was A. So how do you want to call that one then at the other end? B? Right, B. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so what do we do? We take moments. About point B equal to zero. See, I always use the same sign convention, counterclockwise positive. And what should be the equation? So this will become what? T. Then Q3 will be producing a counterclockwise moment. No, they will all be producing a counterclockwise moment, no? So we could do one by one, or I could do just what? Plus, let's say two times. I use the effect of <coughs> Q3 first. So the value of the force between two and three would be how much? Four hundred, no? Q times three. And what would be the arm? What would be the distance between this force here and this one here? One hundred, no? And I'm multiplying by two because it will be the same effect between the panel two and three and one and four, no? Okay. I could do the same thing for the side panels, which can produce a counterclockwise moment. Plus, what would be the value of the force created by Q1? It would be 200 Q bar one, the value of the force. If you want to hear about force, arm, force, and here will be the arm, 200, perfect. Then do this equal to zero. 
and T. Can you remind me what was the value of T? One thousand. Okay, so I think we need to be careful because all these ones are being in uh, in millimeters. Okay. Okay, so basically this will give you what? Uh, let's see. So it will be what? Uh, 80, 84. So it will be different values. Uh, no, it will be. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now this is so 400, 400. Okay, so we'll give you T plus. Eighty thousand Q bar three plus Q bar one equal to zero, which will give you Q bar one plus Q bar three will be equal to minus T over eighty thousand. Or if we do the numerical application, this gives you Q bar one. Plus Q bar three times minus what is 1000 times 1000 because we transform the meters into millimeters. Okay. Divided by 80,000. And if you do this calculation, you get Q bar one plus Q bar three equal to negative. Twelve point five, and this call this equation B. So basically, what does that mean? Now we have these two equations, no, which are the in function of the variables Q bar. One and Q bar three, so we can just go and solve. So let's say solving for Q bar one and Q bar three. What do we have? Q bar one minus Q bar three equal to 6.25 bar one plus Q bar three equal to negative 12.5. We can solve this in different ways, but if you want the fastest way probably is to do what? If we add these two equations together, what do we get? Two Q bar one would be equal to what? Negative 6.25, no? which means that Q bar one equal to negative 3.125, which would be just half of that, Newtons per millimeter. So if I needed to do the orientation of this one, how did we assume that one to be? To look at the figure, so Q bar one will be going what up? Okay, so we'll just up, down, and then we have this and this. No, this is important because then we're gonna have to combine the two the two shear stresses. Oh, sorry, and here now from the second equation, we can find that then, then 
Q bar 3 will be equal to what? Let's say negative 12.5 minus Q bar 1, which will give Q bar 3 equal to, uh, so we'll be 12.5, negative 12.5 plus 3.125, which gives negative 9.75. Newtons per millimeter. And again, what does that mean? That it will be going opposite direction that what is plotted over here, no? Okay. So if we do the same thing for the sun here. We're going to have this one will be going this way as well, this way. And this way. Okay. Okay, so now uh, combining results. So if you remember the Qs were shear due to shear force, but let's just say V. And the Q bars were the shear you to torque heat, okay? Okay, so I'm going to need your help here again. Okay, so I think that's the one we did uh, the first two days. So the side panel. So if we talk about, let's say over here, panel. Let's first do panel. Uh, I think that was panel one, six, nine, five which is the side panel. Okay, so that one is the one we just did. So what was Q bar two? This is Q bar two that we calculated to be equal to what? 12.5. And what was the direction of Q bar two? We had going up, no, here between, okay, let me put maybe the number in one of them. So here we had one, six, five, nine. If you remember the Q bar two, we had it going up in that direction. So we'll be going down that direction. We had it going down in that direction. So we're going down in that direction. Now what I need guys from the previous notes, find out the direction of Q2. I cannot have something here, but that was, so this is due to, I think Q2 was equal to five, if I remember right. 
So basically, this is due to torque. Ninety five. Okay, sorry. But let's put it in on the right direction. But what was the direction? The proper direction. So if it was ninety five, probably was then going down on that side, no, opposite to this one. But I mean, you need to check the notes. Did we specify the direction of Q2? Look at the figure. The way we plot it, it should be on the reverse direction, no? Okay. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You need to be careful here. This. So basically, here now, what you need to do, you see that the combination of both of them. So basically, will be. So let's do the difference. So that means that uh, which one is larger? This one is larger, no? Okay, so we look like the total distribution will be going in what direction? This one is larger than this one, so this one will dominate, so we'll be going that direction. That direction. That direction. That direction, and what will be here, the final distribution Q, will be equal to the, whatever, 12.5, Minus five, which if you do that is equal to 7.5. And we just call this one, I mean, no, I said Q, Q1. Let's say this will be panel one. That way we can maybe start simplifying a little bit, panel one, okay? You see what we're doing here, no? I mean, I have the notes here, so that's why you're gonna have to look at it. I agree. Uh, I mean, let me see if I can go back here to my notes. Uh, and then we have negative five or positive five. Okay, let's. What happens is I may have changed it from the notes that we did in class. I have here these ones here, all ones, but like I say, I might change them all the time. So Q2, let's see if I have them here. So Q2 wall. Uh, let's see. Here force dy. So we have Q2 plus one second. Okay, so basically now what you're saying is that after looking, it looks like this one should be going down instead of up. Down, up, and this one will be going to the left. Okay, I want the work that is done in class to be consistent, then we double check. Okay, so this will mean that we go in the same direction. This would give them plus. This will give you then 17.5. Oh yeah, so how you want to call it then? That's fine, Q Roman one, and this will be then final one. Okay, so now we're gonna have to look at, you have to help me here. So panel, now we're gonna look at another panel. So let's look at the panel, which is on this set of notes, is the one that will be on the other side of panel one. What will be the numbering? I don't have it. So on 
the one on the opposite side of panel one. Yeah. So what should I fix over here then? So this should be panel 10. Yeah, I tell you, this is not something that I have on my previous notes. So all this stuff is different. So 10, 6, 5, 9. Okay. So which one would be on the other side then? It should be then 11, I'm guessing. So 11 at the top. 11, 12. 7. 7. Eight. Okay. Okay. Plus this one here equal to this one here. Okay. I should have brought my last note from last time. So it should be 11, 7, 12, and 8. 11, 7, 12, and 8. And now we had here. So basically, they should be this one should be the same, no? The one due to bending should be the same. Okay, so check that stuff, but it should be the same. This one here should be the same, but the one of the torque should be what? Reverse, no? Okay, so this one should be reverse. Okay, this should be our Q bar two. So again, we're gonna have here Q2, Q2 five, Q bar two equal to 12.5. So basically what we're gonna get over here is this time, we'll be going that direction, that direction. Down, up, and we're gonna call this one. Q Roman two would be equal to what? 12.5 minus five, which would give you Q bar two equal to 7.5 Newtons per millimeter. Okay, we're gonna keep going a bit more, but you see what's happening now. So it would be your panel, whatever, this panel here, panel. So now what should be the panel that is at the continuation of panel one? I think it's the one we did today, that one. So I should have that one. So I'm guessing the one I wanna talk now about will be the panel five, six. Is it six, two, one, five? Okay, yeah, that's the one we use, use before. So that one should have it. Okay, so basically we do the same thing plus. So six to one five here, we're gonna have then this should be one, two bar one. So here, now you let me know, okay? What is the direction? Because it's gonna be different that probably what I did last time. So this one should be going what, the Q1? I think you will carry the Q1 by looking between one and two. Did it go up or down when we did the calculation?
What's the one that were five, five or minus five? So is it going down? Okay. All right, so you see how to do here the signs for this. You need to look at the direction. Okay, and we knew Q1 was equal to five. Other ones due to bending were five. And Q bar one, I think we did that one today, so I should have that one. Okay, I have here that is going. down between one and two, no? And do we have a positive value, negative value for Q bar one? Negative? So then it's going up, no? And Q bar one, we found that to be equal to 3.125. So that means that this one is going to go to the left on top. We're going to have the distribution here. So it should be here Q1, Q2, Q3 would be equal to 5 minus 3.125 which is going to give you that Q3 equal to 1.875 newtons per millimeter. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to the panel, which is on the other side of that one. What should happen here? The Q should be the same, but the Q bar should be reversed, no? Yep. So let's see, we can finish all the panels. So next panel will be, can you give me the numbering for that one, please? Just on the other side of the box, yes. Seven. Eight, eight, four, three. All right. What can I do? Seven, eight, four, three. Equal. Seven, eight, four, three. Okay. So here, first one should be unchanged. because it's the one due to the, just the bending, no? The VY force. Now the Q bar one, because of the effects of reverse, reverse bending in torsion, will be on the opposite direction. So if this, this will be go down, this side will go up. That will go to the left. This side will go to the right. So we have Q1 equal to five, Q bar one, equal to 3.125. So basically we're gonna have then Q4 will be Q1 plus Q bar one. So that Q4 will be then equal to the 8.125. Okay. I mean, one more. The entire of this, okay. 
So which panel you want to do? One of the tops. We did all the lateral ones. So you want to do one of the top of bay two? I don't know. I don't have the number, so you pick. If you want. Let's do the one at the top of bay two. What will be the number? I think I have that one uh, on the notes. I think that should be, is that the panel two, three, six, seven? Okay, so see the ones I have will be then two, three, seven, six, two, three, seven, six. Equal to Q three seven six. So let's see. So, what was the value that we have for Q three? Positive or negative? We had negative. So that means that between two and three is going to go in the opposite direction. So it's going to go this way. This way. Down and up, and we had Q. Who I did no, this was Q by three. Sorry, guys. That's Q by three because I don't have Q3. Uh, oh, Q3 is zero because that side is not resisting any bending. No, so we can do so if you want to do this, this, and this is still going to work. So Q bar three, so we have Q bar three. What was that value? Was it uh, 9.375? I don't put negative because I already put the negative on the direction, no? And here, what was Q3? There is no Q3, but basically we know that due to bending, this panel was not resisting. So you can write over here, this panel not resisting, shear due to VY. Why? Why? Because it's perpendicular, it's not the direction of the loading, no? Yes, is that clear? Okay. So then this one is very easy. You will have here then the final one will be the same thing. This will be Q5. So Q5 will be equal to 9.75 divided by millimeters. I mean, we have 10 minutes, so we're not doing it. What is, so the panel that is at the bottom of this one, would be the same, but in the opposite direction, no? Yeah? So can you give me the number of the panel that would be under this one? Give it to me, counterclockwise, starting by this corner, please. Five, eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so five, eight, four, one. Okay, it's fine. Thank you. It's fine. Plus. Okay, so again, you know, this one will be zero. This one should be the opposite of the one we had before because it's on the other side. Okay, so it would be Q bar three. So we're gonna call it opposite direction, and here we'll have the same thing. Would be Q six, so Q six would be equal to near, uh, to nine, the same thing, nine point three seven five, but on the opposite direction.
Yes. Correct. In torsion, we use the concept that I, meant, that I call reverse bending. Okay. So. In both cases. Uh, I did the reverse of this one. That's why I did it. Well, for the numbers there, if you start in the bottom left, it's seven. Oh, you say the number of the panel? No, no, not. <laughs> I don't have to... Wait, this number is here. I know the different, but I just followed the number in the bottom. Okay. So I think we can. Oh, so this one is not zero, you said? Yeah. This one is here. Okay, yes. so this one, I think this one down. So I reverse this one. So this one should be going down or? Well, you're saying it should be this. Okay, here, I think your, your numbering were different. You have, you have two here, then six. Okay, I mean, I don't really see what's, but I mean, you gave me the numbers. That's what I'm trying to get. I don't have the number here for the panel. Just, because I did not bring my classes from last time and I used the number. This is the first time I used the number. So uh, the only thing I did over here is reverse. You see this one over here. So you tell me that it's not oriented the same way with this number and I will understand what you're saying. Is for example, is, is eight on the six? This one. Okay, so what should be the number then? Starting at the bottom left, six, seven, two, Okay, so it should be six. Do you guys agree or no? So it's, this is six. Okay. So six, seven. Seven here? Yeah. Okay, seven. Three over here? Yeah. All right. So does that change the direction or what? Seven, six, three, two. And does that change the direction then for Q3? Yes. So this one should be going up now then. Yeah. Guys, can you check because be wrong at the bottom, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, that's you know, I like to do the problems like with you, I change them all the time because I don't like to copy stuff, but that's what happened. So, do you agree that's changed the direction or not? All right, so then this one's going up, this one's going down, this one's going to the right, this one is going to the left. This one will be now reversed, not the one here. Down, up. The only, the only good thing is that since we're working with magnitudes, the rest will not change. Okay, guys, so my idea, let me pause this now.